This is an example of how to calculate net cell potential. It's a pretty basic concept, but there are a few things that can go wrong. In order to calculate delta E net, we simply subtract the reduction potential of the cathode minus the reduction potential of the anode. Notice, please, that it's reduction potential of both cathode and anode. So, despite the fact that we always reverse our anode half reaction to show loss of electrons, we still do not reverse or change the sign of our anode voltage. And I just leave it the exact same way it is. The minus sign in my net cell reaction formula takes care of that. So, all I need to do, determine what my SOA is going to be, which is there for my cathode half reaction, fill in its voltage, and then subtract the voltage of the SRA, which is reacting at the anode, in this case water, subtract them, and I get my final answer of negative 0.89 volts. Since this is a electro electrolytic cell, that's why the net cell potential is negative. Therefore, that's how much energy you have to put in. Something else to note, other than the fact that we're never going to change our signs of our reduction potentials, is that even though this is a two electron gain and we have a four electron loss here, and I would therefore have to multiply this half reaction by two, I still don't do anything to this voltage. The only thing that can alter these voltages are concentration changes and the equation we use with chemistry 30 curriculum. Don't take that into account. So just simple, cathode minus anode all the time.